Hello and welcome to Cambridge Answers. Before we begin, we need to know what a hundred square is. A hundred square is a square which has numbers from 1 to 100. When we want to move ahead, we add one. And when we want to move back, we subtract one. When we want to move up, we are going to subtract 10. And when we want to move down, we are going to add 10. Numbers to 100. Exercise 1.1. Fill in the missing numbers. 23 is equal to 20 plus 3. 40 plus 9 is 49. Fill in the missing numbers. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Fill in the missing numbers. In order for us to move down, we must add 10. 3, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93. 6 plus 10 is 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, and 96. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100. Mention the two-digit numbers represented here. We have one 10 over here and another 10 over here. We have two 10s and four 1s. So the numbers represented over here is 24. Over here we have 3 tens and 8 ones. 38. Show a different representation of the number 41. We have 4 tens and 1 1 which is 41. Fill in the missing numbers. 98 is equal to 90 plus 8. 85 is equal to 80 plus 5. 73 is equal to 70 plus 3. Below are some rows and columns from a 100 square. Fill in the missing numbers. When we have to move back, we have to subtract 1. Let's start subtracting 1 from 80. 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. When we have to move down, we have to add 10. 4 plus 10 is 14. 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. 8 plus 10 is 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88 and 98. Make a representation of 23 and 32. Fill in the missing numbers. 23, 33, 43, 44, 67, 58, 59, 47, 27, 36, 38, 74, 84, 94, 95, 96, 97, 87, 77, 98, 78, 87, 89. Below is an almost blank hundred square. Write the numbers in the correct places. One is already placed at the top left corner and hundred is at the bottom right. Each row in the hundred square represents 10 numbers. 
To place a number, consider its tens and ones. The tens digit tells you which row the number is in and the ones digit tells you what column. Except for the numbers that come in the count by tens, they will be written in the last column. So let's start. 37. 37 has three tens which means it will be placed in the third row. It has seven ones so it will be placed in the seventh column. 37. 81. Eighth row and the first column. 81. 53. Fifth row and third column. 90. Since this number comes in the count by tens, we are going to write it in the last column. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 75. 7th row, 5th column. 46. 4th row and 6th column. 69. 6th row and 9th column. Use the digit cards to make 6 different 2 digit numbers. Write these numbers in the correct places on the 100 square from question 10. 24, 42, 28, 82, 84, 48. 24, 42, 28, 82, 84, 48. Exercise 1.2 Counting up to 100 objects 1 10, 10 2 tens, 20 3 tens, 30 4 tens, 40 5 tens, 50 6 tens, 60 7 tens, 70 8 tens, 80 9 tens, 90 10 tens, 100 Which tens number is 110 more than 8 tens? So we have 8 tens and the number that we want is 110 more than 80. So we have 90. Which number is 110 fewer than 6 tens? So we have 6 tens over here and the number that is 110 less than 60 is 50. Write each number made in a part whole diagram. So we have 7 tens over here and 5 ones, which means we have 75. We have 3 tens and 9 ones, which means we have 39. Sophia chooses 4 tens, Zara chooses 0 ones, 40. How many cubes are there? Estimate and then count. My estimate is 50. When I count it, it's 53. Sophia counts 100 beads in twos. Please draw a ring around the numbers she mentions. So if she's counting in twos, we're going to have even numbers. 24, 36, 42, 78, 12. Fill in the numbers in tens. Order from 100 to 10. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Marcus chooses the tens. Aaron chooses the ones. They made 53 and 87. How many tens does Marcus choose? 5 and 8. How many ones does Mar Arun choose? 3 and 7. How many beans are there below? Estimate and then count. I estimate them to be 50 and when I count them, they're 67. Take the correct sentences. An even number of objects can be sorted into two equal groups. Two more than an odd number is always an odd number. How many large spots in the box? How many small spots in the box? Estimate then count the large spots and the small spots. We estimate it to be 20 
when we count it's 21 we estimate it to be 50 when we count it is 48 color five small squares on the hundred square below one number inside your shape can be odd draw your shape again in a different place this time only one number inside your shape can be even For exercise 1.3, visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Cambridge Answers. You'll also find comprehensive videos for both learner and workbooks from grade 1 to grade 5. Don't miss out. Take advantage of a free trial today. Link is in the description.